Welcome to this tutorial on using Freename Custody to create a traditional Web2 website. Whether you bought your domain on freename.io or from other providers like Unstoppable Domains or Base Name Service, we've got you covered. In this tutorial, I'll guide you through the process step by step. We'll cover transfer your domain to Freename Custody, building your website, inserting records, activating Freename DNS, and browsing your new website. Let's get started. Step 1. Transfer your domain to Freename Custody. Whether your domain was purchased on Freename or other platforms, you can transfer it to Freename Custody if it's purchased on one of these namespaces. We are always working to add more namespaces, so check the updated list in the description. To start, head over to your domain list under External Wallets, click Manage, then Transfer to Custody, and Confirm. The Custody icon will appear in minutes. If the domain was purchased on other namespaces, Send it to your custody wallet address. You can find this address under your profile icon below your name and email. Then head over to the external namespace, go to the manage section and send the domain to your address. Remember, you can only transfer domains from these verified namespaces. Step two, build your website. You can use various website builders to create your Web3 website. Check the complete list under the website builders section on the free name website and in the description of this video. Each builder offers templates that you can customize to fit your needs. For a simple landing page, we recommend WebHash. It's great for creating a decentralized landing page in just a few steps. If you want a more traditional website, choose one of the other builders. Start with a template and customize it as needed. Once your website is ready, move on to the next step. Insert records. Every domain in Freename Custody has a DNS section where you'll fill in the A record or the C name record to make your website work. These records are simple numbers or addresses provided by the website builders. Here's where you can find these records on the main builders. They are usually placed in the settings of the website builder. Remember to type out your Web3 domain when asked. And here they are. After pasting and saving the records, move to step 4. Activate Freename DNS. Go to freenamed.io slash DNS hyphen download. Download it. Open it and select the second option. Use Freename DNS. This will allow you to resolve your Web3 domain on traditional browsers. It works on both laptops and smartphones. Step 5. Browse freely. You're now free to browse your Web3 domain as well as others on popular browsers like Chrome, Brave, Safari, Opera, Firefox, and more. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you need more support, reach out to us on our social media channels. Happy browsing!